New York Yankees says, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? I haven't been posting. I took a one-week vacation from uploading content. Not because I was actually on vacation, because the flu hit me. So, Yankees fans, let's talk about the current state of the New York Yankees. Like I've said numerous times on this channel, the Yankees are going to be in great shape. One, because the Red Sox are going to have a down year this season. And two, because they are deep. Their minor league system is deep, and also Cashman is known to pull off trades for players that other teams really don't know about, aka with Voigt, and now we're seeing it with Mike Topman. Obviously, the Yankees were patient with Topman, and now we're seeing the benefits of being patient with another player similar to Voigt, where he didn't really get a chance, and now he has a chance on the major league level and he is reaping the benefits along with the New York Yankees. So really, I guess I'm seeing the league being weak as a whole. Obviously, uh, you have a few sleepers, but I don't see the Seattle Mariners holding it all season long. The league is weak as we see that the New York Yankees are winning games with their B-list squad. Not to sound like I'm bashing the current roster of the Yankees, but practically, if you're winning games with, let's say, the your roster of AAA, I mean, that shows me two things. That the league is weak and that the Yankees are going to run away with it once their squad is fully healthy. If they're performing and winning now, just imagine how they're going to perform when we get Stanton back, when we get Sanchez back, when we get Judge back, when we get Severino back, when we get Patances back, when we get all of these players back. The Yankees are just going to run away with it because, like I said, the Red Sox, there's no competition this year. The Yankees are just going to run away with it. The only pesky team to look out for is the Rays, but really, they're just going to be a wild court team. The Yankees will be kings of the AL East. I'll say fully or maybe about 85% fully loaded by July. And by then, we'll have a good idea of who's running away with the AL East. Mike Ford is looking very intimidating at the plate. The dude has superpower. We saw the blast he hit tonight over there in Los Angeles or what you want to call Anaheim. I don't see Bird being a Yankee ever again because the Yankees went out there and got uh, Morrison. So Bird is bye-bye birdie. He had his chances, and I don't see Bird, when he gets off the disabled list, replacing any player because by then he shouldn't be a Yankee. I mean, if you're going to leave him in AAA or whatever, leave him in there. But he shouldn't replace anybody when he gets off that disabled list. I'll say this. If the current Yankees, the way they're performing right now, the B-list squad, it's going to be hard to tell them goodbye if they continue to win and perform on the level that they are performing on. And yes, I predict that the Yankees are going to continue to win because this group of players, they look hungry. They look more hungry than the original squad. And guess what? When you have Voight really as really your captain on the field with Judge being out, I mean, that's a personality you want at the realm while Judge is being out because you can see it that his energy is rubbing off of these rookies, these journeymen, these whatever you want to call them, players. And you can see that the Yankees are having a great time. In my opinion, they turned the corner a long time ago. They turn the corner when the Red Sox are obviously going to have a lousy year. So the Yankees been turned the corner. They could have their hiccups here and there. Red Sox are going to be zero competition all season long for the New York Yankees. It's just a fact. So before I leave, guys, I don't do live chats, but people donate to me via the Cash App link that I leave in the description bar below. Uh, these individuals have donated this past week. Oliver Duran, John Sanchez and Thomas Mitchell. Thank you for the support, and this is going to become a reoccurring theme as every week I shout people out that leave me donations. If you want to leave a link in the note, I'll even shout that out as well and post it as a pinned comment on my YouTube channel. So Yankees fans, leave your pins in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the Yankees B-Squad? Leave your pins in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page